Bum, bada bum, bada bum. The noise grew louder as the boy and his grandpa rowed the boat towards the shore. It started to get dark, but the fire in the trees behind grew lighter, lighter and lighter. <clears throat> Billy had seen the whale, so he was feeling a bit less scared. But Grandpa's face was still tight and worried. They got to the beach, and the Grandpa jumped out of the boat, and the water went up to his knees, and he grabbed and he pulled the boat onto the sand. Billy had the gun and the knife ready, but he'd never used it before, so he was really worried on how to use it. And he didn't know what was behind the trees, and he didn't know why there was all this fire, and all the orange glow in the sky was making him scared. Grandpa stood firm. Follow me, he said. They started to walk up the beach. The sand was very soft, and Billy's feet were sinking into it. But then they got to the grassy part and started to walk through the trees. The noise was getting louder. Boom! Da da boom! Da da boom! Then they could feel the heat from the fire, and then they could hear the screams and the noises. Billy finally spoke to Grandpa. What are we doing here? Who are these people? Grandpa replied, "I don't know, but the whale told us we have to help these people. That's what I do in his magic ship. The whale comes to visit me and tells me where we have to go, and we go there. And there's always somebody that needs help. And this time, we're here, and I needed you to come and help me. So, Billy and the grandpa." Walked through the final parts of the forest, into a big opening in the middle of the island, and there is when Billy saw everything. In the middle of the island is where the people of the island must be living, and all the houses around the edges were on fire, and in the middle of the houses was like a small pyramid. Like made out of bamboo and sticks and stuff, and on the top of that, there was the king of the island, and his daughter. They were tied to a tree, and then underneath, dancing around the pyramid, were these terrible, terrible monsters, big like giants and hairy like gorillas. Or gruffalos, and they had big red eyes and big sharp teeth, and their arms are really long with claws, and they were dancing up and down around. Billy didn't know what to do; he was so scared. But he looked up, and he saw the king of the island crying, looking at his daughter, trying to get some help. Billy looked at his grandpa and ooh, gulped. Grandpa looked at Billy, and I don't think Grandpa knew what to do either. Hmm, grandpa said, "Let's do it." Do what? Grandpa picked up his gun and aimed it at one of the monsters. <laughs> He shot, and it hit the monster in the arm. Well. That was it. Billy tried to pick up his gun and shoot, but he didn't know how to do it, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Give it to me," said Grandpa, and he showed Billy how to pull the trigger back and push the button before he pressed the trigger. <laughs> he shot the gun, and he hit another monster in the eye. Well, that made all the monsters turn around, stop dancing, and all ten of them looked at Billy and the Grandpa. And then all ten of them roared, with their mouths wide open and their eyes bloody red. The princess at the top of the pyramid, she fainted because it was so scary. And the king at the top said, "Help!" Billy and Grandpa did not know what to do as the ten monsters put down their sticks. 
and started running towards them, growling like angry tigers. Ah, said Billy, let's go. Grandpa agreed and they turned and they ran back towards the water. They had no idea what they were going to do and they couldn't fight all these ten monsters. They ran back to the sand and then Billy had an idea. He ran around the side of the trees as Grandpa kept running towards the water. And because Billy was so small and it was dark around there, the monsters didn't see him and they kept chasing Grandpa. Billy went back towards the pyramid and he picked up a big stick that was on fire. And then he followed the monsters. He was behind them. So the monsters were chasing Grandpa and then Billy was chasing the monsters. As Grandpa was rowing the boat, Back to the ship, the monsters stood on the sand, growling. Billy threw the stick, and all the monster's fur was on fire. All the ten monsters were on fire now. And then they all jumped into the water to stop the fire from burning them alive. And that's when the whale came in, and the whale swam from the deep ocean and up and up and up and it jumped higher than ever into the sky as high as an apartment block and as the monsters were pushing out their fire the whale crashed down and landed on all ten and killed them all right away the whale then smashed his big tail against all the ten monsters and they went flying right across the ocean into the depth and they sank right to the bottom, never to be seen again. Then the whale did another huge jump and splashed its tail and this time the water went right into the middle of the island and all the fires that the monster had made had been put out. The whale then swam away and Grandpa came back to the island and Billy and Grandpa looked at each other as if what had just happened it was amazing said Grandpa you were just the best hero in the world and now they were making their way back to the middle of the island and they climbed up the pyramid and they cut the rope after they cut the rope the princess had woken up And the king was there, and he was so happy that they'd rescued his daughter, that he told Billy, you can have anything you want from my kingdom, even though it's so small, I am going to give you such a big prize. But first, let's go and eat. And the king took Billy to the other side of the island with Grandpa and the princess, and they sat down at the king's dinner table and had a very beautiful buffet dinner. And as they talked over the food, it turns out that the princess was the same age as Billy, and the king was the same age as Grandpa. And they talked about all the adventures that Grandpa had been on. And the princess had talked all the things in the island. And the king talked about his history. But then Billy had a go. And all he could talk about was coming home by himself. Cooking his dinner, washing his face. And going to sleep before his mommy and daddy came home. And he talked about the fact that he couldn't see his dad until the weekend. And then he started to cry. The dinner table was very quiet. And the king knew what the prize should be. After the dinner, the king took Billy and his grandpa round the corner to the secret cave. This is all for you, said the king. Billy's eyes lit up as he saw all the gold and diamonds and jewellery and treasure that anybody could ever need. I am going to give this to you. And so the king and the grandpa and the princess and Billy and some of the king's men moved all the gold and diamonds and jewellery into the boat and then they rowed all the way back to the ship. Billy 
could not thank the king enough. And the princess, who was the same age as Billy, gave him a little kiss on the cheek and said, You have nothing to worry about now. So go home and live happily ever after. They got to the boat, packed all the treasure onto the boat and started to sail away, the blue whale swimming beside them. It had been such a long day. Billy and Grandpa went down into the ship. They washed their face and Billy lay down in his bed. He had the deepest sleep anybody could have and he must have slept for days and then he opened his eyes and he was back in his bedroom and he his mom had just given him a kiss on the head Billy rubbed his eyes what what day is it it's Monday night I've just come back from work said Billy's mom uh I had the strangest dream, said Billy. Oh, well, I was just about to ask you, why has your face got some, some black bits on it? It looks like smoke. Have you been playing in the fire? Billy ran to the mirror and checked his face. It was still sooty with black bits on, as from the fire in the middle of the island. <gasps> it wasn't a dream. Billy ran to the living room. It's still the same. He ran to his toy room. He opened the cupboard and there was all the treasure from the island. He called his mom. Mom, look at this. Mom couldn't believe her eyes. She called Dad straight away. Come back home now. Daddy came back home. And the next day, they took all the treasure and put it in the bank and they got hundreds and millions and millions of dollars. And then, Billy's daddy didn't go back to work. He stayed home. And mommy didn't go back to work either. She stayed home. And for the next lot, long, 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 long time, Billy grew up with his mommy and daddy every single day. He got up and his mum was making breakfast and his daddy would help him go to school. He came home and his dinner was there, made by his daddy and his mum and dad would help him do the homework and take him out for holidays on the weekend and they would use the money to help people. That's what they did for a long, long time. And often, Billy would tell his dad the story of Grandpa and the Blue Whale. And every so often, on his way home, Billy would see the Blue Whale, and the Blue Whale would give him a wink. The end.